I believe on him. I trust in him. I walk with him. I talk with him. I pray to him. Thank God. It's a personal thing. Amen. Oh, I'm glad, Brother A.Y. He will manifest himself to us. His power is so real. His spirit is so strong. His love is so good. Thank God. He come to set the captive free. He come to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives. Thank God. I'm glad glad what the Lord can still do. He ain't changed a bit. He's still saving boys and girls, men and women. He's still taking people off drugs. He's still changing lives. There's a, a lot of people say, well, look at how bad this world's getting. I'm glad God's still on the throne. He can still reach down way below the bottom and pick you up. Oh, the devil's lied to people so long. Said there's no hope for you. You might be sitting in the jail tonight. Look at your life. The devil will come by and say, look at all the things you've done. Look at the people you've hurt. Look at all this and try to make you feel low as can be. The devil will do these things to you, but Jesus will come right down in that cell tonight with you. He'll wrap his arms around you. He'll wipe the slate clean. Hey man, that old man, that old person you used to be, he'll die out. Behold, all things become as new when you believe and receive the Lord. Brother, that's what it takes tonight. I didn't have to fly to the moon. I didn't have to go to New New York City and run down the road. All I had to do was get on my knees and realize I'm a sinner, but he's a savior. Thank God. And he changed my life. And he'll do the same thing for you. He's a life changer. Do you believe on him? Do you receive him? You know, if I was going to give you something, if I had it in my hand and I was reaching it out to you, would you receive it? Would you take it? That's how Jesus did his life for us. He laid it down. Will you receive the sacrifice that Jesus did for you? The blood that he shed for you. The crown of thorns that he wore for you. That old cross that was on his back for you and for me. For whosoever will. Will you receive him? Will you believe on him? Will you invite him into your life? Hey Amen. Before it's too late, a lot of folks says, well, I'll wait till I'm about 88 or 89 and I'll fix things up with the Lord when I'm too old to get around anymore, too old to go out and sin all night long. Then I'll think about Jesus. Brother, we're not promised one more day. You better seek him while he's yet there. Brother, I'm here to tell you, and if the Spirit of the Lord's not dealing with you, you can't be saved anyway. But my God, when he pricks that heart, oh, oh something begins to happen. Amen. You realize where you stand with the Lord. You realize that I need a Savior. You realize that I need a change. And he's the one that can give it to you. I'm going to say this and getting ready for the singers to come back. We might have some prayer requests. But when Stephen was standing out in the midst of the men, over in the book of Acts, you'll read about it. He preached thus Jesus Christ and him crucified. He preached about receiving a Savior into your life. And the men's hearts were pricked. That's what the Bible said. Hey, man, that means that hey, it got their attention. Brother, this gospel will get your attention. They begin to run up on him with one accord. Stones in their hand. They begin to stone him. Hey, man, they killed him him but he looked up toward heaven and he said Lord lay not this sin to the charge he saw Jesus standing on the right hand side of the father brother when you receive the Lord you've got a home waiting on high thank God hey, why? if this world is tonight if there ain't no tomorrow I'll be in glory with the Lord thank God I've got reason to praise him Oh, I get excited thinking about it. We got a home on high whose builder and maker is God. Who cares what the world thinks about it? Who cares what the devil says about it? Brother, we got something the world didn't give us, and the world can't take it away. Come on, brother. But will you receive him tonight? Oh, thank God. Thank you, Lord.